The Skin for Life New Skin Oxygen Infusion System. It correlates with the actual performance products that Skin for Life has formulated and has trademarked the LSS delivery system. So that every time you're using this machine along with the products and you're using it within whatever service you are providing for a performance driven result, you will have the appropriate oxygen infusion gel, whether it's brightening, AC and E, antibacterial or sensitive to meet all of your clientele needs. You've selected your phase one oxygen infusion gel to whatever specific condition that you're working with, whether it's um, pigmentation, whether it's mature skin, whether it's troubled or oily skin, whether it's sensitive skin. You pick the specific formula that's going to benefit your client for that day. Also, when you use your activator, the activator does go into the cup of the gun. You need to fill it at least halfway so you can complete three passes and interact with the oxygen infusion gel to get that interaction between the natural enzymes within the stratum corneum so it can break it down into your skin's pure oxygen. When you're setting your machine, the, the silver button on the back of the machine is your push button. It will say on and off switch. You need to push firmly because it is a push button switch. When your silver knob is all the way to the right and it's at the three o'clock position, you'll see where the pressure of the gauge is at 10. When you're working the full phase, you can keep it at around a 10. But if you're working more localized areas like around the eyes, around the mouth, if you're doing um, at the brow line or at certain crevices or with different specifics. If you're working with a, a particular pigmentation area or a deep line or a deep wrinkle, if you're working with capillaries in specific locations that you would like to try to localize as far as treating it with the activator and interacting with the oxygen infusion gel, you can be more specific by bringing your pressure down between a five, six, seven, or eight, and be very isolated uh, and localized to that area for treatment. So if you're working around your eyes, you can bring your pressure down, cover your eye, and work just that particular line to try to plump and hydrate and smooth. So again, the pressure on your gauge does not actually have to read a 10. You can adjust it to where you can work more localized areas to get more performance results. Also remember the tip of the gun is almost touching the skin. So therefore, as you're pushing back and the product is on the skin, you can uh, be more specific and really isolate and localize that area so that you can get more plumping, more hydration, more smoothness appearance of the skin. The machine silver button, the on and off switch, remember it is in the back, so you need to press firmly for a push button reaction. In your airbrush system, you want to fill your gun at least fourth of the way with your O2 cleaner. This should give you about 15 uses for your cleaning. So what I want you to do next is to take your lid and place it over the cup of your airbrush. Make sure that it's clicked tight and secure. And then we're going to actually turn on the, the oxygen infusion machine. So when you're cleaning your, your gun, you want to either use a gauze or a towel and you want to push down the lever and then pull back to release the O2 cleaner onto the gauze. And you want to use circular movements and make sure the tip of the gun is very connected to the gauze. As you're going in circular movements, you're trying to dislodge anything that has solidified from the phase two activator. This should only take you 30 seconds to one minute to complete this procedure of your cleaning. Once you have completed, then you need to turn off your machine from the back with your silver push button and you need to release the lid. And then as far as your second step to your cleaning is to add water. When you add water, again, it only needs to be one fourth of the way this is going to complete the procedure of cleaning your gun so that everything that has pushed through the gun 
is ready for your next treatment. You want to use circular movements to make sure that everything is dislodged from the needle portion of the gun. It's very important that you keep the head of the gun pressed to the gauze but however, it doesn't inhibit you from doing circular movements to disperse the water from the gun. And once you've done this, you're ready for your next treatment. Thank you for choosing Skin for Life, your all-in-one solution for equipment and professional skin care. If you have additional questions, please contact Director of Education Frida Mills or visit skinforlife.com for additional training support.